Hi, I'm Trish Smith and I curate our historic structures here at Drayton Hall. Today I'm excited to tell you about a project I'm working on that will enable visitors to experience Drayton Hall in a whole new way. I'm using 21st century technology to bring the 18th century back to life and you will be among the first to experience this exciting new work. When the National Trust for Historic Preservation purchased Drayton Hall in 1974, the decision was made to preserve the house rather than restore it. This was an unprecedented approach for the time, but this preservation philosophy has enabled architectural historians to continuously study the house and glean important evidence from its historic materials for nearly four decades. As a result of this ongoing research, we now have a much better understanding of what Drayton Hall looked like at its zenith in the 18th century. Had the house been restored, much of the evidence that led to our current understanding of this remarkable edifice would have been lost forever. Nonetheless, the desire to see Drayton Hall in its former glory is natural, and I began to wonder if there might be some novel approach to restoring the house without sacrificing any historic building fabric. The solution came in the form of a 3D visualization fellowship offered by the Colonial Williamsburg Foundation's Digital History Center and the National Endowment for the Humanities. I was awarded a two-month residential fellowship during which I worked alongside Williamsburg staff to construct three-dimensional, photorealistic models of historic buildings for their virtual Williamsburg 1776 project. While these images may look like photographs, they are 100% computer generated. They are created using computer drafting and 3D modeling software that is often used in the creation of video games to build realistic worlds from the ground up. The 3D renderings of Drayton Hall that you're about to see were produced in AutoCAD and 3D Studio Max, and a third program called Unity will enable us to make these models interactive. The process of building the virtual model begins with hand drawing and measuring every detail of the house to 1 16th of an inch. Then, I began reconstructing each detail in wireframe, one line at a time. Eventually, recognizable elements began to emerge like these stair balusters. Or these windows. Here, you see the 27-foot stair hall taking shape. The next step involves creating realistic textures that can be applied to these shapes. This may look like spaghetti, but these texture maps are part of the magic of bringing computer models to life. The wood grain you'll see on the floorboards in the finished model should look very much like the ones you're standing on now, because I used them to create the textures in this model. The last step is to place cameras and lighting in the computer model. This allows me to control the angles from which you view the space, as well as the amount of sunlight coming in through the windows, or the shadows thrown from flickering candles. The images you are about to see are computer-generated models of the stair hall as it would have looked circa 1765. I pulled together evidence from paint analysis, 19th century sketches, and architectural fragments to recreate the space as it once was. So watch as the fading green paint, Victorian newel posts, and turned pine balusters give way to the original paint scheme, carved mahogany balusters, and graceful handrail.
hope you've enjoyed getting a sneak peek at this exciting project to digitally restore Drayton Hall. In the coming months, you can look forward to seeing an expanded model to include pieces from our museum collection, as well as parts of the house that remain closed to the public. Just be sure to stay connected with Drayton Hall to receive the latest updates.